Hi students, welcome to my channel. So in this video we are going to discuss applications of a queue data structure. Very very important. So what is a queue data structure? The operations performed on queue data structure is first in first out. First in first out. This is very important. So the important point in queue is only this one. So based on this only, every operation is going to perform. So now, so I have discussed all this uh, about the queue data structure and implementation of queue data structure using arrays, using link list in previous videos. So you please check those videos, implementation of queues using arrays and implementation of queues using link list. Now we are going to discuss what are the applications where there is a queue data structure concept that means a first in first out concept is used. The general applications here are ticket reservation counters. The general application or real time application here it is ticket reservation counters. All ticket reservation counters generally forms in a we will form in in queue. So first who will stand in the queue that person will take the ticket and will come out of the queue. So again next person will take the ticket and come out. So next person will take the ticket and come out like that. So ticket reservation counters are using the concept of queue data structure. Next second concept is uh, if you consider any hospital, in the hospital, OP will check na, outpatient. So, uh, how this OP will be done? So, that is also based on first in, first out. First patient will be observed first by the doctor. So, after uh, diagnosis or after treatment, that person will come out. So, all hospital management systems, patients are Patients waiting outside the doctor's clinic will treated by using the concept of FIFO data structure. Okay, next. Phone answering customer care centers. All customer care centers. If you observe nowadays, nowadays, all some of the not all all some customer care centers whenever we called uh, to customer care then uh, we are getting the message like you are in queue you are waiting time is so on so uh, your number is uh, your token number is uh, some five like that you are getting if you observe so i faced that problem for example uh, uh, when uh, i was uh, Face that one is uh, so my net problem one day uh, I got a problem so I'm using uh, this act uh, internet so now I called to customer care so then uh, they are giving they are saying so previously it is not there so just uh, I will uh, some ringtone you will get uh, so after some time uh, the, uh, the uh, customer care people will receive my call and they will uh, solve the problem. Uh, so now, nowadays, I am getting like the message, you are in queue, your waiting period is some two minutes or uh, uh, your token number is some five, like that we are getting the message. Okay, so phone answering, so customer care, of course, they will solve the problem immediately or maximum they will take 20, 24 hours time, immediately they will rectify the problem. That is a, uh, another point, that is not the case here. So now how they are answering the calls. So those answering calls is depending on our Q data structure. Next. Uh, if you consider banking. In bank also suppose cashier is there. So uh, we want to deposit money. So then we have to form in, in Q. So first in first out manner only they will process. So these are the general applications. So more in real world we can see this uh, uh, 
uh, queue data structure in so many places. And these are few of the applications where we can observe the queue data structure. Next, uh, coming to our computer side. So, computers uh, related uh, applications. So, here very important concept here it is uh, scheduling. In scheduling, in scheduling, the queue data structure is used. What is meant by scheduling? Schedule is nothing but if you consider uh, some regular class timetable, class schedule, first hour is so and so, second hour is so and so. So, timetable, if you first hour, some data structures class, or second hour, some maths class, third hour, some physics class. So, like that, you are getting the some, some schedule for your class now. That means at what time which which subject faculty has to come. In the same manner here also in computer terminology. So number of resources will be there. All these resources are allocated to some processes. So resources are like input devices or output devices or mem different types of memories are there. All these now. Or you can take it as a, some printer or you can consider a scanner. These are some resources. These resources are allocated to processor. At what time or for which process these devices or these resources are to be allocated. At what time these resources to be allocated to what processes. That is the meaning of scheduling. That means, that means a single resource or a resource. How a single receive one input device or one resource is keyboard. Keyboard is there. This keyboard is shared by different processes. Or for example, memory is another resource. Memory is another resource. So that will be utilized by different processes like process 1, process 2, process 3, process 4 like that. But at what time this memory will be allocated to for process 1? At what time memory will be allocated to, to process 2 for process 3, process 4? That is the meaning of here scheduling. So who will assign all this work? So that means for which process for which process, which resources are to be allocated. So for one process is there, one process is there, so that process requires a number of resources like resource 1, resource 2, resource 3, resource 4. Now who will allocate all this? This process at this point of time, resource 1 has to allocate, so for this resource 2 has to allocate. So all this, who will do all this work? All this work will be done by the operating system. Operating system stores all this information. So here like that, here number of processes will present. Number of processes will present. So P1, P2, P3, P4. Number of resources are present like R1, R2, R3, R4, R5. So, P1 requires some R1 and R2. P2 requires some R3 and R4. P3 requires R5 and R4. P4 requires, for example, R1 and R2. Like that, different processes require so, so different resources. So, now, who will allocate for all these processes? So, operating system will allocate all these resources to the processes. What is meant by process? Process is nothing but program under execution. A program which is in execution state. A program which is in execution state is called as a process. Whenever execution, whenever a program is executing, then resources should be utilized like memory is required. Some It may ask some input, it may ask some output like that. The resources or it may ask printer or it may ask a scanner to scan the page. So like that different processes requires different resources. So all this work will be done by the operating 
system. So this type of scheduling here it is called as this type of scheduling the process of assigning a resource to the different processes. So that generally here it is called as job process I am telling now. So that you can say it as process scheduling or job scheduling or task scheduling. Or task scheduling. So job, process, task, simply in our terminology work. Okay. So all this is called as scheduling. Okay. So this is one of the very very important applications of Q data structure. Okay. So next another application here it is where this Q data structure is used. Breadth first search. Breadth first search uses the data structure, Q data structure. So already I have done the video on breadth first search technique, graph traversals. So where I have discussed this one is graph traversals. So in graph traversals, breadth first search. So already video is there. You please uh, see that video to get a complete idea of breadth first search. How the Q data structure is used in breadth first search technique. Okay. So and then next one is. Next one is uh, uh, routing algorithms. In routing algorithms. Like distrust. So routing algorithms in distrust algorithm also the data structure used is Q data structure. That means uh, uh, whenever two or three nodes are having same distance then first node or first vertex will visit first. So that is a distrust algorithm. So these are the main important applications routing algorithms in networks routing algorithms in networks so this q data structure is used next another one is printer printer pooling or you can take it as a printer scheduling so so printer Pooling also uses the data structure, Q data structure. So how it is possible? Now, so in, in your computer system, number of processes are under execution. So P1 requests for printer. P2 also requests for printer. So P3 also requests for printer. P1, P2, P3, all these processes are requesting for a resource. What is this called as? This is called as a resource okay p1 p2 p3 are requesting for printer then so for which process that the printer will be assigned so printer will be assigned to a process which requests first which requests first for that process the resource printer is assigned so that is called as a printer pooling so first p2 is requesting for a printer first after that p1 after that p3 so this resource is, is allocated in the same order p2 p1 p3 in that order only this resource is allocated so these are the main important applications of q data structure so first one, ticket reservation counters. Second one, hospital management systems, how outpatients are treated. Phone answering whenever we call it to customer care. Banking, so cashier process the money transactions based on the persons who are standing in the line or queue. And then scheduling algorithm. Scheduling algorithm. And then 
షెడ్యూలింగ్ అలగడదాం మీన్స్ నాది మా జాబ్ షెడ్యూలింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ షెడ్యూలింగ్ ఆ టాస్క్ షెడ్యూలింగ్ దెన్ ఎ బ్రెడ్ ద ఫస్ట్ సర్చ్ అండ్ రూటింగ్ అలగడదాంస్ ఇన్ నెట్వర్క్స్ అండ్ దెన్ ప్రింటర్ పోలింగ్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద అప్లికేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ క్యూ డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్ ఎవ్రీవేర్ యూ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ ఫస్ట్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ అవుట్ మ్యానర్ ఓకే హోప్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ డౌట్ ప్లీజ్ అ పోస్ట్ యువర్ క్వశ్చన్ ప్లీజ్ ప్లీజ్ లిజన్ టు ద వీడియో కంప్లీట్లీ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ డౌట్ ప్లీజ్ సెండ్ మీ మెసేజ్ ఇన్ ద కామెంట్ బాక్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ లైక్ ద వీడియో ప్లీజ్ షేర్ విత్ యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ ద ఛానల్ థ్యాంక్ యూ స్టూడెంట్స్ హ్యావ్ ఎ